before this video begins, I just want to say to everybody in the comment section, whether or not it's this video or other videos regarding the trailer for the Spider-Man Chronicles that are complaining or upset that Freddie Highmore's character from the 2008 Spider-Man Chronicles movie is now played by a black actor, I would like to point out two things. One, Freddie Highmore's character, as well as the other characters in the Spider-Man Chronicles, were based off books written by Tony DiCerlizzi and Holly Black. And two, these are characters of fiction. They're not real. This isn't like a Hamilton thing where like you have white people played by Spanish, like Puerto Rican people. Like this is fiction. Relax, guys. Oh, welcome to YN. Let's get this trailer going. Oh, so everybody's okay in Hamilton where white slave owners were played by black people, but oh, everybody has a problem with spider chronicles. This town is full of stories. Allow me to be your guide through the fantastical world around you. Welcome to Spiderwick. It's my fault we had to move here. You've been going through a hard time for a while now. And we both know it's not getting better. Once we clean this house up, this will be great. And I know we can all use a fresh start. <laughs> Lucinda is my favorite person ever. Remember the lessons I taught you? It's it is them. secrets and surprises. Definitely thimble tag. Are they gonna show him in this trailer? I love the house. The house My looks insane. Unlocked each and every creature of the invisible world. The pages are in hidden vaults all over Henson. Wait, what? The Grace family is coming. Arthur Spiderwick's field guide will soon be ours. Ograt's a deceiver, a shapeshifter. The world would be a better place without humans. Find the pages. Put Spiderwick's field guide back together. You have to help save everyone. I'm just a kid. That's why you can succeed. Wait, so they have to put the field guide back together? That's different. We want something more. I'm an ogre. I want everything more. Oh, okay, so that's Mogurai. Can't trust anyone. A reckoning is coming. Interesting. You're ready for the coming fight. Having someone believe in you. Mallory's a fencer. Thank you. It's the most powerful form of magic there is. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you came. And I'm so glad I watched this trailer, man, because I, I'm getting more context for things that I was very curious about in the original trailer. So, first things first, the concept, I, I, it is a, it is a change because in the book and in the 20, 2008 movie, Jared finds the field guide, uh, Arthur Spiderwick's field guide to the fantastic world around you and in it he's able to explore and he's able to discover all the fantastical creatures that exist in the world around us but I feel like in so now a, the the change that they're making is that they have to kind of put the field guide back together which on paper sounds a little weird but now that I'm thinking about it like it I kind of like that because it gives the characters agency as a, as well as you have the antagonist in Mogorath who's also looking for the field guide in order to take over the world, blah, frickety blah. But the idea that, that Jared, Simon, and Mallory now have to kind of go around this world while discovering new creatures, but also putting the field guide back together, it kind of feels like Pokemon in a way, where they're going around, 
looking for stuff but also like discovering new creatures along the way and maybe learning a little thing about themselves and family too so uh yeah no this looks this this has the potential i think to be either really good or really bad and i and i don't quite know how this is gonna go but i'm very excited to see it and i hope you join along me join me along the way and uh, let me know in the comments what you think please be kind to each other thank you all so much for watching if you like what you saw please like subscribe to yn and i will see you all in the next trailer